And are you refreshed? Yes. Good. Now what? So I'd like to continue some of the stuff that we're talking about this morning, and particularly interested in prosperity, receptivity, and doing. I have a tendency, I think, to go into the doing aspect. Yeah, you do. (laughs) (laughs) It's all right. You want to do. Doing is really fun. Doing in the flow is way more fun, though, than doing not in the flow. And doing because you can't stop yourself from doing it because the momentum is such is way more fun and way more productive than doing it because it needs to be done. But of course you want action. Action is this manifested point out here on the leading edge. Action is way fun. You just want to do it from a vibrational aligned standpoint, not from a vibrational misaligned standpoint. That's all action from the path of least resistance, not action from a path of more resistance. Let me talk a little bit about prosperity. I understand working for money on rare occasions. I've had found money in the street. Now we're just going to interrupt you here for just a yep. moment because you've laid out the perfect place for us to say this. Okay. Working for money is like motivation as compared to inspiration. Working for money is the action part. And certainly there's always action involved in the allowing of money into your experience. We're not trying to guide you away from action. If the emphasis is on the energy work, the alignment work, Mm -hmm. the wobble free work, and then the inspired action, then that's a whole different thing than working for money. So in terms of ways that money can come to you, prosperity, So there's working for money or even inspired working for money. So Uh, we like the way this conversation's going already and we want to head it off. We like it so much because because before we go there and we'll go there with you if you want to, and there's nothing wrong with going where you think you want to go really. But (laughs) what we're talking about is this movement from the vortex where it's unseen into the bank account where it is seen. In other words, this transfer from vibration into material. Mm -hmm. So this is what we're really talking about. So when you say you started to lay out the ways that that can happen, and we want you to understand there is an an infinite array of ways that you are not even considering that you couldn't even possibly consider. In other words, at best you can make a bulky general list, but oh, when you get tuned into this and the ideas start flowing, the flow of energy and the flow of economics, the flow of prosperity, unlimited, unlimited resources. Look even at your economics of today and think about how robust it is in comparison with a hundred years ago. And a hundred years ago, no one could have conceived of the avenues through which the abundance flows or the height to which the abundance has swollen or the degree to which the abundance affects the details of your life experience, you see. So let's not make a puny little list. Let's just call it unlimited and open ourselves to the ideas that are ripe for the plucking now. I guess my question is, in other words, I was going down a list of things that sort of fit inside my rational mind and yeah. my ability to conceive because you can equate the action with the receiving. Right. Yeah. So uh, I'm asking about how to open myself up more, be more receptive to unseen and, and By saying things magical like, things. There are way more ways than I can think of right now. And putting myself in a corner where I lay out five things is limiting. I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm going to accept the unlimitedness of it. I'm going to accept the ripeness of ideas that I'm about to receive. It's hard for a doer, isn't it? Yes. It's hard for somebody who's used to just getting in and doing it. And it's annoying when you do and others don't do. It's just annoying when you do and others don't do. But those who are really doing aren't doing. Those that are really receiving have got this vibrational flow going. Now just answer this as you believe it to be. There's only a slight trap here for you. But answer this as you believe it to be. Do you believe that currently your prosperity 
and we're talking about financial prosperity do you believe right now that your financial prosperity is tied to your action well you know the right answer and everybody else was just quiet <laughs> because most of you would say well this is how I earn my living I exchange this action for this income and so let us lay the trap a little tighter for you if you stopped doing today what you've been doing would your money flow tomorrow the way it's been flowing is there anybody out there <laughs> if you didn't go to work tomorrow would your money flow and if you didn't go to work tomorrow for those of you who if you don't go to work tomorrow and don't do what you usually do and your money doesn't flow then what then what in other words does your money feel dependent on your action yes. 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 so thank you for being honest <laughs> well for most that's normal in your economy of today isn't it that you have trained yourself or been hired to do something in exchange or you've positioned yourself to do something in exchange economics is about that isn't it it's about providing service for one another aren't your economics all about your interaction with each other here's another question for you if there was no one else on the planet would your business or means of making money be necessary if there were no one else to participate with you in any way goods or services would there be any reason for you to provide them can you step back far enough to acknowledge that your interaction with one another is what the basis of the economics is all about can you step far enough back to acknowledge that economy rests on rides on depends on at the basis of is serving one another in some why yes. do you believe that the ways to serve one another have all been figured out no. no do you believe that there are desires in the ethers on the minds the lips the hopes and dreams of the masses that are still to be discovered yes. do you believe that you have the ability to position yourself as you choose to to be the beneficiary of the satisfaction of serving others we tricked you didn't we <laughs> because what we want you to embrace first is that your economics and how they flow to you are about the energy that you are flowing outward to others in other words it's what you're offering what you're receiving and what you're offering are the same they are vibrationally equivalent and if you can think in terms of the service that you're offering now we offer that word carefully because you misunderstand it every time someone uses the word but in this conversation that we're having where we've agreed that economics is all about serving one another in other words it's what it all is then as you acknowledge that your contribution what you are offering to this mix is a value to others once you go there now your understanding of economics is in a whole new place that can serve you in a whole new way so now we'll ask you are you there yet do you acknowledge that it is your service to others so now in what ways do you serve you were going to make a short list a little while ago but in what ways do you serve others you serve others by getting energy flowing you serve others by tapping into the stream of infinite intelligence you serve others by tuning in tapping in to the frequency this high power frequency you serve others by understanding the path of least resistance you serve others by being wobble free you serve others by tapping in not just to infinite intelligence but to infinite prosperity to infinite abundance of energy to infinite ideas if you're serving others then isn't it the idea that really is at the basis of most service you see ah oh, when you loosen up these cobwebs and you start acknowledging that you could be in the right place at the right time in more conversations in more opportunities to uplift if you would put your attention upon the energy that you're receiving which then you will be flowing but here's the most interesting thing about economics we already said it to you but we're going to say it to you again 
you don't get it until you give it because it is the asking for it that summons it so when you get into an attitude of service which is asking for it on the behalf of others now you open a really big portal a really big vortex of abundance you see and that's really the place that you want to start with all of this in what ways can I be of value to others now let's start generally are you of more value to others when you are ornery or happy well that's not a difficult thing to understand and yet it's usually not a question that you ask in relationship to economics is it because you're thinking in terms of your action not in terms of your attitude but your attitude your mood your vibration is everything in terms of what you receive and in terms of what you give you see so if you're thinking in terms of being the portal through which all of this flows do you acknowledge that the world is out there asking do you acknowledge that their life experiences are what are causing them to identify what the next economic booms will be do you know that there are economic booms in the vortex right now that haven't even been discovered by those who will feel the inspiration to provide the response to the boom that is being asked for so does it overwhelm you to think about being the creative genius that is inspired to that we're not asking all of you to be the next Bill Gates but why not we're not asking you to be the next innovator of the next big invention but why not but what we are asking you to do is acknowledge that there is infinite energy flowing and enough abundance will flow to serve you in the way that you are wanting to be served once you get into this flow of economics it's all about energy you see as much money is coming to you we're saying money financial abundance is coming to you as you are asking for and allowing but what's interesting as in our earlier conversation you're motivating yourself to the asking rather than inspiring yourself to the asking so it's not a clear open thing that's going on because in the worrying about what you're going to do with it or where it's going to come from you block the flow of it so if you could just concentrate on the fact that the flow exists and on the fact that there is a path of least resistance that is available to you right here and now if you could just acknowledge that you have the ability to get on this path and you have the ability to receive the flow instead of worrying about where it's going to be when it's going to be who's going to bring it where it's going to come from how long it's going to last how big it's going to be when you ask those questions that make you wobble then you don't do either one of those two things you don't hook up to the energy and you don't flow it towards something that is meaningful to you that was a big economic discussion but how does it translate into something that you do something about it doesn't translate into how you do something about it it translates into how you feel about money